Hi, I'm Dale Hendricks. Thanks for coming. Today we're going to work on some circles and what I do to keep those horses on the circle and allow you to teach them how to do the speed control and go fast and slow and just go wherever you want them to go. So when I'm teaching these horses to circle, the big thing I want to do is I want to remove all the lean out of that circle. As you're loping a circle, some horses are going to lean in, some horses are going to lean out but I'm going to worry about just the lean out first because I found over the years if that horse is leaning in on top of your circle over here he's probably going to lean out here so I just just try to pinpoint the lean out first once I've got that all taken care of if they're leaning in anywhere I do another exercise to get them to not lean in so the first thing we're going to do is try to remove that lean out and I do that by just loping a circle and turning those horses loose and letting them go where they want to go. When they lean out, I steer them across the middle, turn them loose again, and do it until they just find that circle and hunt that circle and want to stay there. So as I'm loping around, I'm just going to get them loping off and just turn them loose and let them relax. If they want to go too fast, I slow them down. But if they're going to lope around here and be nice, I'm just going to turn loose and find out, gather some information what they're doing. So like this horse is going to come through here and he's going to lean to the outside of this circle right here. So the first couple times around, I'm really not going to do anything. I'm just going to keep hunting for that information. So here he wants to fall in a little bit. Over there he wants to go out. <coughs> so once I got that figured out, I'm going to let him leave this circle and I'm just going to bring my hands over, steer, put my hands back down. Let him fall in there again, let him leave this circle, bring the neck rein, the direct rein across, and then turn loose when they're facing back to the center. Let him lean and steer and turn loose. When we're riding in two hands, we get in a bad habit of always helping them and holding them and manipulating them in the body position we want, which they all need to be able to do that, but we hide so much stuff when we do. We don't really pick up on the little things when they're leaning. And all lean is amplified when we go.